Well, downtown Franklin is home to many festivals, art shows, and even walking tours, but it also has a darker side that one local man is tapped into. Joshua Maxwell has the story. This year marks the 150th anniversary of the Civil War Battle of Franklin, and a lot of historians agree that this was one of the most gruesome five hours in all of the war. And when you visit Franklin, Tennessee today, you'll probably hear a lot of stories, some normal and some paranormal. There's a lot of stories and tales of all this, you know, paranormal activity that happens here, but I personally had never seen anything until a little while ago, I bought a house actually a block and a half, two blocks from here. And after a little while, all this activity started to, to take place. Paranormal activity is Austin's specialty. Whether or not you believe photos like these are signs of the afterlife, Franklin native Austin Cook seems to have made contact prompting a new show that he hosts on the Sci-Fi Channel. But how does Austin get a paranormal response? What I try to do is just sit in a room and be patient, spend all night there. A lot of the questions that I ask usually have to do with the history of the specific person I'm coming into contact with. Um, you know, it could be something that's emotionally stimulating to this particular person or not. When I was at the Cherry Manor house across the street over here, I kept continuously asking, you know, do you want us to leave? Do you want us out of here? Do you want to just be left alone? And as soon as we left the room, we left a recorder set up in the room, all this activity started happening in this room. We heard voices, everything. But that's not the only house in Franklin that's seen its share of excitement. The Many Gaunt Shelf House was built in 1828. And during the Civil War, Sarah Sally Gaunt was a spy for the Confederate Army. And some say she's still around. This was my office later, okay. and it seems like the uh, things that would fall off the mantle, the, the, the mirror was frequently moved around. Okay. And then finally one day I came in and the mirror was actually off the wall and on my desk. And with the Civil War anniversary upon us, Austin thought it would be a good time to sit and ask some questions. Sally, are you up here? What did the Union soldiers tell you? Mr. Chef told us that there's an um, access point and a trap door, if you will, to the roof that was used by Sally during the Confederate. There's someone coming up here. And whether or not you believe in things that go bump in the night, Austin thinks that most of the paranormal just want to be left alone. Chris Chicago, Austin Cook. James. Uh, <laughs> you owe me a cook. Yes, you do. Franklin Paranormal, and we're down in uh, downtown Franklin today. We're about to do an investigation of a house that's supposedly haunted. Yep. We're hoping to debunk it and uh, maybe it's figure freezing. out. Happy it, autumn. It's freezing. It is a little cold oh out here. Oh, my gosh. But uh, hopefully, yeah. hopefully we're going to be able to find out what is, uh, what's going on in this house. Um, what kind of claims are you hearing, Austin? Um, from this family, this uh, this house is on Bridge Street, right in historic downtown Franklin. Um, and right now, as of now, they said the family said that there's a lot of uh, movement and stuff in the kitchen, uh, chandeliers swinging. Um, honestly, uh, a lot of stuff that when they when they told me, it sounded like stuff that we could easily disprove and debunk or whatever you want to call it um, to kind of write off as as nothing. Um, now, the only thing that I, I feel like we're going to have a problem with is baby crying. Yes, there, there have been reports of babies crying. Yeah. Um, there's been uh, there's been reports of a little girl. Um, I don't know why she's always wearing a white dress, uh, but there is reports of a little girl, girl in a white dress <clears throat> that apparently goes from the garage area and walks right through the dining room into the next room. We don't know what that is. We are going to investigate, see if anyone's died here. Um, but we are going to try to figure out what, why is the furniture moving? Why is the chandeliers moving? Why is there noises of a baby crying? Why is there thing? Maybe there's lights shining in from cars uh, in the windows. We're going to try to figure that out, um, Franklin Paranormal, as we investigate. And uh, why don't we go ahead and go in? I'm going to go ahead and let you go in, Austin. Okay. And uh, I'll, why? I'll, I'll handle the Me? camera. Yeah, because I am, I am a little more of a girl here, and I do tend to get <laughs> more scared than you do. That's, that's up for, uh, now is there is there any there's no one in the house right now correct no um the family has let us come in for the entire time um and just kind of stay the night um as creepy as that sounds but uh they let us free have a free reign came to talk because it's Whoa. so cold 
I thought I heard something. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I, I, I'm a, a really freaked out right now. Why? We just find it. I know, I know. I'm just, I feel weird. Oh, you have a, you have a. So is this is this the the kitchen area or the dining room area where yeah, they, this is, this they is see the little see, girl, right? They see a lot of well, yeah, 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 yeah. You're you're exactly right. My bad. They the biggest thing though, the most frequent thing is a lot of things moving. Chandelier, which I mean, you can see on top. You know, the first thing we noticed when we came in here before today. Um, yeah, it is a little that, loose. I mean, it's so loose. Like there's so if somebody's walking upstairs above that, it oh could cause gosh, movement easily. Yeah. Okay. Do you want, uh, I'll go up there later. Do you want to be here alone while I walk, run No, through? please stay right here with me. Please do not go anywhere. Hey, do you have um do you have the EVP recorder? I do. I do. Okay. Let me get it out. Okay. Oh man. This is weird. I mean, it's a it's a good house, you know. It's just You're right. I mean, there's definitely a funny feeling in here. <clears throat> is there anybody here that would like to communicate with us tonight? I think they do have some sort of appliance running right now. So just to let you yeah. Know, note this. note that there is an appliance running right now. I don't know what it is though. It sounds pretty far away. Um, can you please show us some some signing your presence? Gosh, I'm really freaked out right now. How old is How old did you say this house was? Right at 103 years. So okay. Whatever. 18 1800s. Turn of the century. <laughs> uh, why don't you do some EVP work? Try to provoke it. You little son of a son of a um, a gun. What's some bad words back in the olden days? Ah! Ah! No, the oh no, chair just moved. Oh my the chair just moved. Adam, you and Greg do anything you can do to research. All right, everyone, meet back up at the castle, okay? I need you to come up to the second floor immediately. In these investigations, you have to get pretty creative. You have to try to figure out what is going to make contact. Is this what you want? Do you want me to kill her? All right, guys, this is a subject that is right up my alley. Check it out. How do you solve a crime committed by a killer who's been dead for centuries? She's been ripped open, tortured, slaughtered, almost skinned down to the bone. What you did to those people was unbelievable! Stop playing games and get out here! Show me how powerful you are. No way. Is this what you want? Oh, my God. I told you, yes, yeah, Sci-Fi has a new show coming soon called Killer Contact, and we have a supernatural expert, Austin Cook, with us this morning. Very cool. Yes, it is. And that That's show nice. looks great. Good I'm morning. excited. A good morning. Good morning. It's a little early. It is early. It yeah. is early. Yeah. Yeah. That, that won't people, um, We're like ghosts. Lots of coffee. That's awesome. All right, so That's tell awesome. us a little bit about this series. Looks awesome. Yeah, well, we basically go to the stomping grounds of some of the most notoriously evil people in history, and we try to find answers using the paranormal. So, I mean, it's a lot of history, it's a lot of mystery, and it's a lot of paranormal. Now, what are you looking for when you go on these investigations? Um, well, we get called and contacted by um, witnesses that have their own experiences, and they are convinced that uh, their experiences are tied and linked to the tragic events that took place in these specific locations centuries ago. And so we're going taking their um, um, experiences and tying them in with our experiences that we have in those locations and trying to see if we can come up with answers. Like, for instance, who was Jack the Ripper? A lot of people don't realize that he, he was He's never caught. He's still unknown, right? Yeah, yeah, he was never caught. Well, until, until... December 4th on Sci-Fi. Oh! oh. oh. Caught right Jack the Ripper. Ripper. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, maybe you can help us out sometime with your criminal minds background. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, no, wrong guy. Wrong, wrong guy. It's not you. Uh, no, it's not me. All right, sorry about Charles that. Past. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. So, but, well, how do you get started in that? I mean, what's your background? You're from Tennessee, right? From Franklin. There's a lot of uh, paranormal uh, that supposedly goes around there. Mm. Um, I didn't believe in, in it, honestly, no? until I had my own experience. Um, I thought it was all hocus pocus. And, yeah. um, until uh, 
about 10 years ago, I experienced something and then it just rocked my life. What was your first experience? Yeah, I want to know. Well, my grandfather had um, bought this house that was a Civil War hospital. We grew up staying in it. Um, and I, again, never experienced anything. And so I didn't believe in anything. And sure. so I bought this house right in downtown Franklin. Mm -hmm. And after a couple months of living there, um, I know it sounds crazy, but I saw a little boy in my house mm -hmm. multiple times. And I lived there alone. And um, I mean, it was just unexplainable. And so ever since that time, I became obsessed. The scariest like investigation you did? Um, I would have to say uh, Jack the Ripper, just because, mm -hmm. I mean, even just being in the location, just knowing how malicious he was and um, everything. I mean, just the overall ambiance of um, Hunyad Castle, where we were, um, it's, just, it's just horrifying. But then the things that actually happened while we were there, it's, I mean, it's it's chilling. Now you guys look for physical hard evidence, yeah. right? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if it's not caught on on film or on recorders or whatever, we just throw it out. It doesn't even mean anything to us. So that's I mean, exciting. Yeah, it's crazy. And how do you get the team together? I mean, everybody has their own specialties, or is it just? Well, yeah, yeah. Basically, there's a journalist, um, there's a person who kind of role plays, there's an antagonizer, and there's a tech guy, and then I'm the team leader. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. That's yeah. fun. So it's kind of the all-stars of the paranormal world came together and uh, made this show. That is awesome. Now, again, when does it start running on Sci-Fi? December 4th. So the first one is the Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper is the first episode, 10-9 Central on Sci-Fi. All right, and so you guys focus on one particular, like, character each episode, or are there are multiple ones? Yeah, each episode, we're going for one specific case. Awesome. So, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much yeah. for Thanks. coming in. I appreciate it. I'm going to go watch that. Yes. That looks awesome. Again, Killer Contact premieres December 4th on Sci-Fi and The Daily Buzz. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>